who else do you think was the one who masterminded all of this? Would go so low as to convince people to, you know, strike another channel. What up everyone, it's your boy Mod Lewis, Team Real. Welcome to Drama 2, where we call out fake ass YouTubers and talk about YouTube drama. Today we're going to be talking about the potential suspects that could have taken down my channel. Obviously these are all speculations, people making assumptions, and I'm going to give you my opinion and what I think. Obviously my opinion would be invalid because I have no evidence to back it up. Suspect number one and two, and I'm putting these two together because they're like bestie. Chandler, Alexis, and simply Vanessa. You, last year I exposed them on a lot of things, so these guys hate me a lot. Chandler felt the need to attack me on Twitter even though I'm unrelevant. So you got two weak asses here. Now do I think though that these two took my channel? Absolutely not. I definitely don't think that they would do that. The only reason why people made the assumption that they did is because Chandler wanted to act like a badass because she's a weak ass. And leave this tweet on Twitter. It was lol, no Instagram for you, no YouTube for you, who's next? When you read that, it's as if she's insinuating it's her who took down the Instagram or YouTube. Or maybe she didn't mean that, you know? Maybe she just meant no Instagram for you, no YouTube for you, who's next? Like, you could take this tweet by so... Like, it could mean so many things, you know what I mean? But it looked like as if she was the one who took down um, my YouTube and someone else's Instagram, aka Illy Angel, the really beautiful, sexy model that Chandler's really jealous of. So it's quite obvious that she was just trying to look bad. I really don't think she um, did it at all, nor do I think Vanessa did it. Next su suspects I'm about to talk about are people that know about my main channel and know about my YouTube stream channel because both of those channels were flagged. What I found really mysterious as well is that Order 66 videos were flagged. So it's like, damn, it has to be someone that knows about the streaming channel and knows about um, Order 66. The group Order 66. A lot of people would assume that they did it. They do, they do have the manpower. They do have the numbers. But they don't have a lot. Um, majority of them are just fake accounts. One of them makes extra accounts. The other one does multiple accounts. And it looks like there's a lot of them. But there isn't. I've seen personally that they do have other channels. Because if they want to make a video towards someone. They'll give you a link that will link to another channel. So if you were to flag that channel. It protects their main channel so I do know they have made multiple channels now, a lot of people would assume that it is them because it's order 66 I don't think they want to get rid of something that's giving them attention something that is giving them exposure like my channel did so I really doubt it was them that flagged the channel and even some of them were pissed off that it was flagged because you know it took away their exposure at the end of the day I was the only channel to talk about them so they did get some exposure from me and I just doubt it was them and I really don't think it was we've got John Cookie in the tea bag here for the tea and Rich Lux a lot of people think that it is them because of the way they acted that night when my channel got taken down. As you guys know, I went on to you now and they came on and basically tried to kick me in the guts while I was down saying not bothered. If you want to hear more details about if you want to hear more details about that, check out the first video uploaded onto this channel called Band. I'll give you the link in the description below. But also from the things that Cookian was saying on his Twitter, it kind of made it 
it look like he is the one that took my channel down. We all know that John Cookian loves to play the victim, but he is a real nasty person. I was also Cookian's biggest threat. I was the one to really start making videos and exposing him, which led to other people making videos. So it started a trend and people started to see what type of bullshit he was pulling all over the internet. So you can imagine he's butt hurt because I'm calling him out on all his bullshit. Not only that, allegedly he tried to get John fired from his work. Now John never said John Cookian's name in his video at all, but if you watch it a couple of times and you listen to the little clues in that video, you can tell he's talking about John Cookian. But hey, maybe he's not. He could be talking about someone completely different. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section below. So the fact that he's happy to try to take someone else's bread away could be potential to show that he's the one that did it. At the end of the day, you do need the power to flag someone's channel down. But it only takes one YouTube hero to flag your channel. Could it be a possibility? Maybe he has friends who are YouTube heroes or he knows someone that has friends who is YouTube heroes and that he selected Order 66 to make it look like it was them. At the end of the day, he did know about my streaming channel because someone talked about a video and sent him the link. Yes and no. I don't think he did it, but it wouldn't surprise me if he did do it, but I just, I don't know. It's hard to tell. I just, I don't think he did it, but he could have. I don't know, what do you guys think? Chris and Queen. I know I'm a real big threat to these guys. I was the only YouTuber to start making really good videos about Chris and Queen showing all the receipts. Team Real as well is growing and a lot of us were sharing my videos and it was getting out there. Even Drama Alert knows about this, but still hasn't spoken about it yet and I don't know why. But we do know these guys see me as a threat, so it is a possibility that they did it. But why would they choose Order 66. They don't know me well enough. I recently started making videos about them, so they wouldn't know about my streaming channel. They most likely only know about my main channel unless they really looked into it. At the end of the day, they are scammers, so they most likely are smart, so they are probably going to look into those things, maybe. These two YouTubers left a comment on Dustin Daly's video saying that Chris and Queen made a little video telling people to flag me. But this is the thing. They have no risk. In my opinion, I think these two people, who I, I reckon they're catfish, are just blowing smoke up people's asses. One of them is a big fan of Rich Lux. I don't know who the other one is a fan of. So it is potential that they're protecting the people that they love and they would lie for them. A lot of fans do this because they're minions. They idolize these people and they bullshit for them. I have commented this person at least twice telling them exactly what they need to do to get proof. All you have to do is go into your web browser history on the internet and you can see the name of that video. Um, also, the other girl, the other person said that they had evidence and they were going to email it to Dustin. We still haven't heard from them. It's been at least three to four weeks now and they haven't said nada. So this tells me that they're full of shit and they're hiding because they're like, oh fuck, what am I going to do? I have no evidence, I have no proof, so they're just going to stay quiet. Vegan Cheetah. Vegan Cheetah is someone that I exposed last year a lot. This guy had lied about so many things and a lot of the things I had receipts for. And one of my last videos that I did one on him was him exploiting his fans. That was something that was really huge because I called out all his contradictions. And he knows about... Order 66. A lot of people think it was him. I don't think it was him only because I don't think he will cross that line and even though he's getting bad exposure from me and has even lost a lot of subscribers and honestly it's good that he lost subscribers because then it shows that he needs to be more honest to his audience and it will clean his act up. I'm not talking about, yeah, you lost subscribers, you lose money, haha, <laughs> nah, nothing like that. I'm talking about, see, now you know you need to improve, stop bullshitting to your audience and stop doing this fucked up shit. I know I was a threat, but I don't think he's going to cross that line because his channel has been taken away and he knows what it's like. It's his only income, so he understands that and I don't think I don't know, I just don't think, I, there's a lot of things I can imagine him doing, but I don't 
think he would do that. Which is crazy because he can do some real fucked up nasty shit, but I just don't see him doing that. What do you think? Jeff Nelson. A lot of people are speculating that Jeff Nelson is the one that flagged my channel. Only because at the moment he's trying to sue me. An alleged video I had had evidence to prove what he said on the uh, court documents is not true. Um, they said I made a statement, which I never made a statement. That video that I had on that channel proves it. So maybe he flagged my channel to take it down so no one could see the evidence. And some people say he's working with Chucky and that he did it to protect Chucky as well. But I definitely don't think, I don't think Jeff Nelson has done it. See, do you hear that Jeff Nelson? Like I said in my other video, I don't think you've done certain things, but yet you want to try to sue me anyway. So don't try to sue me for this shit. But I don't think he flagged my channel and taking it down. At the end of the day, we would never know who flagged my channel. I wish I could find out who it is. I wish I had access to that, but we're never gonna know. It could be many, many people. It could be a troll who did it. We may never know. It could be a uh, YouTube problem, and that's a ghost. No, it's, it's a cleaner cleaning that house. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Definitely give this video a big thumbs up. Anyway, guys, I know I'm your guilty pleasure, so make sure to hit that subscribe button as I am uploading daily, talking about drama, of course. If you want to stay connected, check out my social links below. Thank you guys for watching. Salut and peace.